An extra award category is resources and energy for outstanding international success in the production, processing, value adding or provision of equipment, services or solutions related to the extractive resources and or energy sectors. Uh, this award is presented by Amy Jones, Senior Legal Counsel for Fortescue, who are first time silver sponsors of this year's awards. Welcome to the awards. Fortescue and uh, before Amy comes up, let's meet the resources and energy finalists. It's a privilege to be here tonight to present the resources and energy award on behalf of Fortescue. Not the least bit because as a lawyer, it's very rare we're trusted with a microphone and a large group of people. So thank you for Fortescue allowing me to show you this and for you having me here tonight. So listening to some of the growth stories tonight, I'm quite proud to be here representing Fortescue, to think that Fortescue started, we celebrate our 20th anniversary this year, but it started with a bag of red dirt and some pretty bold ambitions 20 years ago to last financial year as an integrated green technology, energy and metals company now. We shipped, uh, we exported over 190 million tonnes of iron ore to our customers overseas. So I think if you asked our chairman, Dr. Forrest, he would suggest that we're only just getting started. And I think to our finalists in this category tonight, I think Australia, as the world looks to decarbonise, is so well placed in terms of access to green resources, energy, technology, processing. And I think the finalists will really form a really large part of the solution in that decarbonisation challenge. So to the finalists here tonight, I'm, on behalf of Fortescue and for me personally, congratulations on growing some incredible businesses and also being named as finalists in quite a prestigious award this evening. So the winner of the Resources and Energy Award is Fibian. Thank you very much. It's an absolute honour and privilege to get an award like this on an evening like tonight, a wonderful evening where I am so happy to share this room with a lot of winners. Uh, I'd like to dedicate this award to the Fibionites, the 25 of them in the Brisbane office and in the factory, and the other 80 around the world working on mine sites in Australia, in Brazil, in Chile, and Jamaica, where they make a difference in tailings dams every day by making them smaller, safer, and more sustainable. I'd also like to thank our friends at Trade and Investment Queensland and Austrade for assisting us in this journey to success. Thank you. Congratulations. Sort of taking your company around the world, was there one thing that supercharged the export expansion that sort of came out of the blue? When you look back and you, and you think, wow, what an export uh, business we've built. Is there one turning point? Yes, I think a, a good business is always built around the customer need and meeting a customer need. And as we go towards a, a zero carbon uh, future, the need has ar arisen um, because miners are digging more and getting less ore, which means they're also processing more, which means tailings are growing. Tailings are growing at the moment at 12 cubic kilometers per annum which means tailings needs to be managed. So the uh, disasters of tailings dams in Brazil about five years ago, where two dams collapsed, uh, killed 300 people and destroyed two communities, really made a change in the industry, which uh, gave us a huge opportunity to jump and, and grab that opportunity and go worldwide. Yeah, yeah, just remarkable, uh, the impact on a particular industry of that. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. 